Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to paint a miniature. Uh, now I'm not very good at painting miniatures, I'll be the first to admit that. But it is uh, one of the things I love about this hobby, so I did want to share how I paint my dreadnoughts with you just for something a little bit different this week. I am still uh, working on terrain pieces, so they are still coming, so don't fret. Uh, we, are, we are not changing over to a miniature painting channel, as you'll see throughout this video. I'm not the best miniature painter and I'm first to admit that so this is not meant to be a definitive how to paint guide this is just my experience and how I paint them it's a fairly easy paint scheme that you can do here with this one nothing too complicated you do require an airbrush if you're looking to get these same gradients that I'm going for but certainly there's no expensive equipment besides that airbrush being used here you'll even see my brushes are really quite crap but uh it gets the job done. Uh, there's no right or wrong way really to paint uh, Space Marines or, or 40k units. So uh, whatever scheme you like is what you should go for. And uh, that's what I'm doing here. So uh, you can see I've just started with a uh, black prime coat and gone over it with some ultramarine blue. I'm now adding some uh, gradients here just using a red brown from Vallejo and also the white Dalarani ink. So I found this worked out really well to get these gradients on these panels. Masking them off is not too bad. I mean the model is quite is big enough to, to get this tape on You do want to be a little bit careful of overspray with your airbrush so that you're not getting too much around the model But if you sort of give yourself a bit of a plan when you start and you don't uh, You know just go straight into it without thinking about where to go from uh, in each step uh, You should be fine You should be able to limit any overspray and you'll be able to get this done pretty quickly you can patch up these gradients as you go so if you find you've put in too much red brown and you've lost all the blue you can go back in with your, some of your ultramarine and uh, fix up some of those gradients as you go same for the white ink as well so uh, you can see here this has come together pretty good uh, didn't take too long to get this to this stage here uh, you want to be careful with the next steps because we're going to be adding some metallics here and uh, the reason you want to be careful is it can be quite hard to patch up the uh, gradient panels uh, once you've got those painted in and you're happy with them. So try to be a little bit careful with uh, adding in any of these colors here. And uh, you'll see this metallic I've got from Vallejo uh, metal color, uh, gunmetal gray is just beautiful. It's a nice color. I really like this one. It's a very dark metallic, but it's so smooth. So these metallics are a little bit more expensive to purchase and I don't have a lot of them, but the ones are the couple that I do have are just fantastic. I really enjoy using these ones. So if you can get them, uh, they're definitely worth a little bit of extra money. I'm just going in here on all the mechanical parts of the dreadnought just to block in this gunmetal gray. And I will be adding a few little highlights to this a uh, little bit later on. So just be a little bit selective. And like I said, a little bit careful. You want to break up that blue and the uh, gradient panels as much as you can. We're going to go in now just with some pure red and we're just going to block in a couple of these little red sections so starting here and also one of the pipes under the arm here i like this one to be red we'll also cover a couple of little pipes on the torso uh, with some red and yellow down the track uh, now you want to block in again here with any of these areas with some of this kislev flesh which i'm using uh, this is actually quite a nice color to use for the skulls as well. You can sort of highlight this and bring it back up and it does take the nice little wash which I'll give it at the very end just a little bit of sepia over the skulls just to highlight those eyes and stuff. Now I'm using some gold here just to put on the front torso. Uh, I will also highlight this with a slightly brighter gold just to get some of those edges up and just to make it stand out a little bit more. Again that'll probably get a bit of a wash with some Agrax earth shade or something similar to that just to sort of get those shadows on those gold parts now the copper works really well as a bit of a point of difference for a metallic color that's not gold uh, i really like this one for the tanks on the side of the weaponry here and also for some of the grates you'll see around the uh, the miniature i'm also going to put it here on these uh, stacks for the exhaust and i think you'll agree that it does come up quite well I've also broken up some of that gunmetal grey, uh, some of these couplings where the uh, pipes sort of connect to the, the body of the model, uh, I've just put in some of that copper as well. Uh, now this is the exhaust manifold metal colour. Uh, this one's actually quite good, I've just used it for some of the pipes on the torso and around the legs. 
uh, it just again just gives us a slight different uh, slight point of difference for some of the areas on the model so it's not too blocky now this uh, model air gun metal is actually quite a bit different from the uh, metal color one that we used at the start now I'm just going to go in here very very lightly with the dry brush there is very little paint on this brush but I am using that slightly lighter gun metal color from model air just to sort of bring up some of those uh, blocked in uh, darker areas. As I mentioned, a bit of yellow and red for these pipes here. This just sort of gives us a, a little bit of variation on the front. And uh, I quite like that look. I think it's uh, already at this stage, it's coming up really nice. Uh, next thing I'm probably gonna do is just come in and uh, make sure I've got the, all the details covered. So a little bit of red for this lens up here and also a little bit of highlighting on the previous areas that I put in with the red and the Kislev flesh. So just bringing these up on the edges as best I can. As I mentioned, my brushes here are not very good, so I have to be exceptionally careful with it. I am looking to hopefully get some new brushes soon and uh, we should be able to get this sorted out and uh, hopefully improve my painting a little bit uh, as I go. So a little bit of highlighting here and there just to make these a little bit different. Finally, I'll go in with the steel from Vallejo just to get some edge highlighting on some of these darker areas. Again, be super careful anywhere where you're near those panels. You want to be extra careful because it's very hard to patch up those gradients if you do make mistakes. But take your time. This paint job doesn't take a lot, uh, a lot of time to get done. This one took me a few hours and I'm, I'm a very slow miniature painter at the best of times. So, uh, you know, if you do want to have a go at this, I don't think you'll have too much trouble getting through it uh, in a day, at, uh, you know, at the most. So have a go at this. Uh, I'm finally going to go and put in some last minute highlights just on some of these edges here, just to bring up some of these raised parts. Hopefully you'll agree that this uh, paint job has come up pretty good. I really like it for my table. Uh, these just give a little bit of difference from the other uh, blocked in blue Space Marines that I have. Uh, it's not meant to be a non-metallic metal at all. It's just a, you know, a paint scheme that I quite like. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't and you did enjoy the video. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I will have some more terrain videos out soon and uh, I may do some more miniature painting down the track if you guys don't mind these ones. So thanks again. Have a good one.